Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cookie Cast. This is the uh, Cookie Cast NFL podcast for week four. How are you doing in your fans lead this week? Uh, yeah, some of us not doing so great. That would be me. Um, so there's a few things going on here at the Cookie Cast podcast. Um, we've recently been able to get some new equipment for the podcast. Uh, unfortunately, as with all new equipment, there's a few teething troubles. So what was going to be a three-angled video podcast for you YouTube watchers uh, ended up only being two angles uh, because one of the um, cameras ended up not working. Um, also, we've got uh, some equipment for better positioning the cameras to get better angles. Uh, I apologise now for one of the camera angles. It's um, yeah, it's quite unattractive, let's say. Uh, however, it's uh, NFL podcast week four review, week five preview. See how uh, how our guests get on. We've got an over the phone guest this week and an in person guest. And our glamorous assistant decided to join us. Uh, So check out NFL Podcast Week 4 Review Week 5 Preview. Right, flashing. This one's flashing, that one's flashing, that, that one's, one's flashing, flashing, that's recording, the line's going up and down. Right, it's podcast time, let's do this, give it one of these. Oh my word, well can we, can we Adam and Jeff it? I'm sweating in the man cave yet again, but that's for a whole different reason. Went to the gym and then built a cat condo. I mean, there's, there's, there's little else you can really see. And the that. silence descended upon the room. Uh, today on Cookie Cast NFL Podcast, me and my co-host, Mr. Paul Williams, Hello, everybody. are joined by our, one of our opponents on the phone, Mr. Matthew Moore. Say hello, Matt. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm a real person. <laughs> Not only is it... How much are you being paid, Matt? Uh, Matt, it, it, it's, he's actually holding my family hostage, so... Yeah, that, that, I mean, that is true, but I, I forgot... Yours it's... and James's. Fucking hell, must have a warehouse by now. It's reigning defending league champion, Matt Moore, of course. Don't worry. Oh God! Did Tim no, there are questions. No, Tim. Tim, wait. We, we need to get. Oh. We need to get to the bottom of this. No, wait, Matt. How many years have we been playing no. this now? Is it? Is this the fourth year? The fourth year. Third year. Fourth year for. No, I, it, I think no, it's the. Year. It must be the fourth year. Yeah, yeah. You. Do, I think you've done a year. And ah, enjoyed. yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Matt wasn't in it. I'm time. with you. I'm with you. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. About asking the right. Oh, so, so he's won it. And he's only been in it two years. Shh. Have you ever won it? What slag? Oh, God. My esteemed opponent, Mr. Thomas Quinn. My, I've been thinking about this, Tom, and I think um, it's safe to say my fourth favourite person in the whole world. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go through. I think he's better than this room, I suppose. I'll take that. Our, mine and Paul's glamour... <laughs> Glamorous assistant, the only female member of the Fantasy Football League, Miss Leanne Davies. Excellent. One I like of, golf clap. One of, with one this one of my <laughs> three top favourite people. Uh, I noticed he didn't say it about me. Sorry. I'm positive. So. You don't actually rank on the list. <laughs> I do not. I do not. No, that's not true. You're on the list. So, <laughs> what week is this? Three? Week four. 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 I week four. Four. I can tell you week four because I'm currently at zero and four. We'll get to that. In the standings. Um, saving ourselves for that bit. <laughs> week four. Review. <clears throat> week five. Preview. Where do you want to start? Um, well, we're going to have to do this all off your phone again because it's dawned on me that I can't check my phone because it's down there. Well, you know how to do the bits on the thing that I don't know how to do, so you can do those bits. Okay. Um, delivered. Parcel delivered, apparently. Uh, where do you want to start? Should we go through the results? 
Tom, what shall we? Uh, I'm not saying anything. The smile on Tom's face, <sighs> beaming right from ear to ear, would indicate. After that. Watching, yes, shall we start on the after uh, watching last week's? I can't get involved in this because it was just too painful. What you cry, and I can't see you crying again. I just don't know. So let's get the let's get the let's get it out of the way. Let's just do it, shall we? Uh, game number one. The cookie. <laughs> Going into week four, not doing so well. Versus Quinn Corp, Mr. Thomas Quinn, over there in the corner. Uh, it's a, another win. I'll give you one of them. Two, Paul. Thank you very much. Well done to you for Thomas Quinn. Possible uh, possible contender. Just went out there. Um, all I can say is thank you, Golden Tate, for bringing home 25 points for me. I was I was umming and ahhing. Uh Thank you, Philip Walls, for the running back. <laughs> no, that's not fair. Phil, Phil, Phil did me a solid, and then I pissed on his chips on the uh, group chat. Um, and then, in true Paul Williams style, I decided, decided to leave all the points on the bench. Uh, Thomas Quinn, well, what do I'll we say? Hold on, ben, you Minus three with your defence, but then... I had a 19 and 18 left on bench. I'm just going to say... And a four and a, four and a nine starting. Todd. So. Girly. And leave it there. Um, Matthew Moore versus Hyde and Zeke Paul Williams. So, feeling good. Matt, love the name. Matthew, any comment? Well, uh, you, you know your week's going to start when uh, when he leaves uh, Jared Goff on the bench for 38 points. <laughs> ah! See, like, eight points <laughs> almost <laughs> almost <laughs> on the bench the best thing is it didn't even make any difference yeah I was going to say this and anyway. when, I, when I did my totting up at the end it was like had I played him I'd have still lost by two would so, you have felt better about it though no no if anything, I probably would have felt I probably would have felt worse. You'd have felt more Yorkshire, apparently. One hundred thirty-seven no. points. No. Yeah. No. So it was one of those ones. That if I'd have played Jared Goff, I'd have be, I'd have been beaten by. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. I'd have been beaten by well, as it as it turns out, I would have been beaten by two people in the league because someone we'll get onto later also scored one hundred thirty-seven points this week. But um, yeah, so. I just I want to point out. Can't really complain. Between two players, you scored forty-five points, and you still lost. I also had Ze- Ezekiel Elliott in my team. Who's let's, got twenty-nine. Let's not talk about that. I nearly put my Sanders jersey on. Um, for all of you YouTube watchers, but I've got a new jersey. So of course, I thought I'd wear it. Didn't put my hat on. Should have probably put my hat on. I think it's my hat. Put that on the show. <laughs> All right, moving on swiftly. Moving on. Oh dear. Miss. Oh God. The only female member, Miss Leanne Davies. Come on, Saquon. Took a terrifying de- defeat from Kaepernick's Nike. I wish he'd changed that name. Uh, <laughs> Ninety-one versus one hundred and thirty-seven. It's a defeat for Miss Davies. Um, no points on anybody, the bench is, to have. Even no, no. Th- actually, you've got just like zeros because you've got bye weeks. Yeah. So you've got you're not leaving it on the bench. So that's a. I mean, you know, Toots could have always put Andrew Luck in and really. Uh... You started seven and all last year, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. just really yeah. ram it home to her, Tom. Yeah, right. that's that's Tom. that's the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one man that knows the st- the statistics of who's doing really badly in the league. So just just before we move on, Mister. I'm really struggling at running back this week. Can anybody help me out with running backs this week? Combines for a total 58 from his two running backs. But it's okay, because at least his running back that he'd had on the bench for the first three weeks didn't have his best week this week and take all the points away from my running back who was playing in my match. That's really nice. Did that happen? That absolutely happened. Did that happen? So he had had Tariq Cohen... Who had his biggest week of the season? <laughs> he only picked him up the other day. No, he's been on his bench all. Oh, I think he's been on his bench all season. I thought he picked him up on mid- midweek. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I dropped him. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd Matt, you him. absolute slag. But look at the first three weeks: three points, one point, six points. I was like, ah, oh, 
Get Time ready. to drop. He was waiting for every week. He really was. He was. He was just thinking. Do you know what? I think I need to get drafted by uh, a really spawny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, then I'll start putting my performance I'm in telling it. you the, ah! the man is gifted up done until Sunday yeah I said to you that, that's just the thing though because you were playing against him you're like oh Toots has forgotten to set a lineup. I was like no he hasn't he's playing Toots games that, that can backfire though because uh, that happened to my brother in my other league he uh, left his lineup until like well the last minute Didn't and then connection. Chris Carson was ruled out at about eight o'clock and he checked his bench and every one of his other players had started. Mm. So he couldn't even swap him out and he ended up losing his matchup by three points. Absolutely devastated. Uh, yeah, so just pretty much standard week for... Uh, Matthew, Matthew doesn't have to try wins yeah. at all early. I mean, to be fair, he's got 35 points from Alvin Kamara because he is just the man. Yeah. So. I was going to offer him a trade. Yeah. <laughs> a kicker maybe <laughs> a true toots trade <laughs> uh, I'll trade you a kicker for uh, um, I'll trade you the uh, Cincinnati Bengals defence for um, mm-hmm. Andrew Luck if you want yeah. just go and try and find someone off Indian Reserve list just see if he fancies a trade <laughs> Foosball is the devil is James yeah. versus Blunt Frost Trauma which is Cole yeah, I understand. I I heard it on Good Authority this week that Cole specifically tried to draft in Calvin Johnson for a week he, to play. Yeah, because he had, it was his birthday. It was his birthday. So he to, you I, know. I, I, I tagged I tagged it on Facebook, going, "Ah, oh, I know one man who'd love to wish him happy birthday." <laughs> uh, James takes a loss. Yeah, this week. is that back? That's back to back L's, I think. Back-to-back With a seventy-nine eighty-seven, Cole takes the win. And he left Cooper Cup on the bench. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. Yeah. And that would have won in the match. Well, what's he doing? Cooper Cup got two uh, two, two, two touchdowns and he got 28 28 points. What is he? 28 points. Wide receiver for the Rams. Now then, we need to talk about this matchup. Crime here, Phil Rivers, (laughs) Philip Walls, versus a previous fantasy football Season League winner, champion. Tim Lacey with the Squirrel Killers. <laughs> Tim Lacey will be joining our esteemed host, Mr. Paul Williams, in the 4 and 0 club. 0 and 4! 0 and 4. God damn it! Uh, 73 to 111. Well done, Phil. Take back everything I said about him. Don't take it back. <laughs> um, and Robert Rafton, who I think is probably going to go with, I was away so I couldn't set a line up. Uh, versus Benji Keep, the Yorkshire Knights versus the Oxford Heathens. It's a win for Benji Keep. First win, I believe, with a 69.88. Yeah, he uh, posts his first win of the season. I, I mean, to win. be fair, Rob's, Rob's been a bit unlucky. I mean, his two quarterbacks are Drew Brees and Cam Newton. Cam was on a bye, so he had to play Drew Brees. And Bree um, still got over 200 yards, but he didn't throw for any touchdowns. And Alvin Kamara just rushed them all I in. just decided that he didn't want to post any points this week because he was tired of putting points up the last Probably. week. Probably. So I'm a fucking bench. So, yeah. <sighs> so there we go. Um, do so you want to tell me the standings? So, uh, it's, 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 a good, it's a good week for uh, the, the two Matthews in the league, as Messrs Hurley and Moore. Both sitting proudly at the top, along with Colin Wright in uh, the 4-0 and o slot. Then we move down to the only team on 3-1, and one, and that is the Dark Horse of Quinn Corp. Look at that face. <laughs> Such a beautiful We then have face. a clutch of teams with a 2-2 two and two record, with a 500, if you will. That is Crimea Phil Rivers. Come on, Saquon. And uh, Foosball is the Devil. Oh, come on, Paul, we'll get it to you. All right, Tom, calm down. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Oh, bless. Uh, there's a three, three, bur- three burger. Does it scroll down that far? Uh, it does. Shut up, Tom. Um, we have the Yorkshire Knights, the Oxford Heathens, and the Cookie with a proud one and three. And then, not propping up the league, is Hyde and Zeke. So I'm not even born. That honour goes to the esteemed Tim Lacey, <laughs> and we're both owned for. And the less said about that, the better. Does that mean yes. you've got more points than I have Tim. scored to be above him. Eh, Fourteen more points than uh, Tim. However, I have conceded 
21 more points than Tim. So, from a points different points differential, I'm definitely doing worse than he is. So, I don't really know how that one's worked out. Did it only go on total? I think it goes on points scored. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, there we go. There's, there there's, go. The, ra- there's the roundup of the actual uh, fantasy. What have you got? Have you got... Um, points you want to make or I have got I've got points um, should we um, should we go through the points have you got any points I have nothing written down oh I've got so much written down <laughs> so much written down right let's discuss uh, T.Y. Hilton injured early on went off came back any, anybody got T.Y.? no we can work out who had it. No, I don't know. I don't think. Well, I was flicking it. through, and then I think you said that he was on the. Under the search for his name. Um, someone else did that. That um, other player did it for someone. <laughs> he went off injured and came back. I'm spelling his name wrong. Well, like he had his ankle chopped off. See why he sat on the bench for Tim Lacey, I believe, or he's in Tim Lacey's probably, starting line. Probably line-up. for the best. <laughs> Um, right, let's talk Patriots. Do we have to? I don't know. I mean, I suppose, I suppose it's a thing. I my my point on this was that I said this to a couple of mates. I was like, "Is is that not the was that not the banker like result of the weekend that the the Dolphins were going to go to New England and get absolutely spanked?" So I said to you, didn't I? I was like, "There is." Absolute, I don't care what you say about the Patriots, I don't care what you say about Tom Brady this season, barring anything else. I said to you, there is no way that Tom Brady was going into that game, the Patriots were going into that game, and we're going to come away with a loss. The Dolphins were not going to win that game. So it was kind of a. You know, they might as well have not played in some sense. <laughs> Excellent. Matt, thoughts? I mean, it's it, like you said, it's the kind of banker of the thing that the Dolphins are going to go to, um, going to go to New England and, and lose. And it's just, I was trying to find when the last time they won in New England. It's just, yeah. It's <laughs> so, just... 2008. So 2000, years, oh my God. last one in Foxborough. Bloody hell. But this was the thing, because I, I, there was a couple of podcasts that I was listening to where people were saying... Oh yeah, the Dolphins are looking really good this season. Blah blah blah. It's like, well, yeah, they could they could be as good as they've ever been. They're still not going to get a win. They're not going to beat the Patriots. They got Matt Tannehill as their as his quarterback. And yeah, he's, he's yeah, you know what you say. <laughs> There's not much you can. Say <laughs> he's not. He's not exactly. Yeah, uh, he's not exactly Brady, is he? So well, didn't, he's not didn't... even like a Alex Smith or kind of you know someone who's going to get so... manager to a victory. So this is the thing, at the start of the game, you know when you're watching the bit where they're like just chucking the ball around and stuff, and that's the point where they just start throwing records left, right and centre. Oh, the Patriots have never gone this far with Brady doing this and da 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 And we were saying, weren't we, Brady's had more sacks, nearly as many sacks this season. Oh, picks. Oh, picks. Yeah, they did bring that up. I think he threw eight, eight, the eight, season. eight in the whole of the last season. And he's, had the four. he's already thrown five, I think, so far. I mean, it's just off. But I say to you every week, and I say, I say to you every week, <coughs> Brady doesn't look comfortable. I mean, he looked obviously looked a lot better, but they were playing the, they were playing the Dolphins. Mm. They weren't going to win. You know, the Dolphins were 3 or no, oh, they were going to win. No, playing the Patriots. Simple. It's games like that that you're a bit like, let, let's skip it. Should we just skip it? <laughs> <laughs> we're just all going to have a nice cup of tea. Um... Miss Leanne Davies advised me to pick up Ebron. So I did. And I went, ah, picked him up a little late. Could just leave him sat on the bench. Stash him on the bench. Just took him away on the bench. Took him in right there. Little, you know. And then he got loads of points sat on the bench. Um, But he's been terrible the last couple of seasons in Detroit. So the change to Indianapolis obviously suits him. I guess. So, <laughs> uh, Brady, three picks in 2018. That was at the start of the game. Uh, Fuller played seven games and saw and scored seven. 
and scored a touchdown in each game. Yep, so that was a stat they brought up. Uh, in every start that Deshaun Watson's made, he's thrown at least one touchdown to Will Fuller. Yeah. So they're just a guaranteed yeah, touchdown they are, team. Yeah, they are a team. But like they've got... Yeah, you could argue they've probably got the best two. Well, well, not the best two, but they've got like the best pair of receivers. I think that's what it was said when, when in, in the in the league yeah, in we Hopkins and Fuller. You right. had you had Hopkins last season, didn't you, Matt? Were yeah, you Hopkins yeah. mad? I was Hopkins mad last year, and then uh, he's, he's one of those frustrating kind of ones where you know he's going to go go off like. You go off like a week like you had this week, you know, mm. uh, obviously. Uh, but then some weeks it's just nothing. Yeah, that um, means he's a bit of a boom or bust, isn't he? Really? So well, that's that. I think that's the Texans. I think you know they. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. They're, they're poor. <laughs> Would be. Uh, it's just it's just such hit and miss football. It's so hit and miss. I've got Miller has done nothing for me this year. Yeah, Miller's been very very poor. To and be fair, Windy Miller. Mm, we may as well I honestly is it Alfred Blue that's their backup running back yeah yeah and like yeah if it's the case of if Miller doesn't do anything they're not gonna they've not they've basically not got a running game so yeah, just wang it somewhere yeah well they're gonna well that's the thing though if you've got two good receivers like them two you might as well throw the ball like 75% of the time um never thought I was gonna have a conversation about this team but this week we can't get away from them let's talk the Bears Mm, Trubisky looks uh, just dial uh, just get Tun Lacey on the phone real quick and ask him his thoughts around uh, yeah, Mitch Trubisky. Trubisky. <sighs> just just ask him what he thinks about Trubisky. Was it just the, was it the forty points? Sort of forty two, yeah. just forty something ridiculous. You can't look like just, 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 just the six touchdowns. Just the six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Just the one shy of the. Uh, Did know, he the run one in as well? No, I think he threw for six. Fucking hell! I saw it, there was a point where I was like, ah, oh, uh, and he was like running it. And I said to you, and I was like, if you look at the teams that have gone to the Super Bowl against the Patriots over the last few years, the quarterback of that team is always a quarterback that likes to run the ball. Like, like when there's no other options, they're not afraid to run it. Uh, when you've got, obviously, Manning. <coughs> <laughs> Bolted to the floor, Manning. That was one of the strangest things that I saw this week. Uh, Aaron Rodgers in the, uh, in the Packers throwback, like, scrambling for first downs. On his bad knee. Mm. On his on his on his terrible wheel. Yeah, they like they were zooming in on his brace and stuff, like going fucking mud out of it. Really, <laughs> the thing you like should it. be doing. Uh, just just want to say, obviously, Tom's rocking the uh, Rogers jersey there. Uh, I hate the Rod- uh, I hate the uh, Green Bay Packers alternate colours. The blue and yellow. Oh, is that blue? I don't mind that. I think and it's quite a nice jersey. Is it the sea? Was it the Seahawks were in the grey ones? Oh, no, or the, the Lions. The Lions were the Lions were appalling. The, the Seahawks did have a sort of a greyish hue. That to looks like a But the Lions were in the oh, onesies. Disgusting ones. Yeah. Horrible colours. Oh, like some horrible was... pyjamas. Go on, Matt. I, could, I couldn't watch that, that game. Yeah. Whenever it came onto the red zone, it was just too. <laughs> yeah. You had, the, you had the, the Cowboys white kit and the grey lines. Like, and it was who's, horrible. Who's tackling who and, yeah, exactly. Contrast doing overtime. But the Packers <laughs> weren't, weren't in yellow. They're like skin coloured trousers. It makes yeah, it right. like sort of, it's horrible. They're almost really like flesh coloured yeah. like jod- jodhpurs. Like yeah. yeah. Like I was saying, uh, last season's um, Steelers alternate kit, the fucking Bumblebees. They wear that at least once a season. <laughs> fucking hell. I like that. I really like that. Is it a charity thing? Did you know, no, because like, bumblebees are like a dying out and stuff. It's like, oh, this could be end. No, do you know what it is for, Matt? I, I, I'm, I'm sure there's some sort of reason why they have to think wear a throwback. What the throwback? Yeah, yeah money. Oh well, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? they all corporation, isn't it? Um, I think, I, I, yeah, I think it's generally just money. Um, you know, you got your three or four different kits, and people go out and buy all of them, and mm. uh, what hundred, two hundred dollars a pop. And, well, yeah, they're not, they're not cheap. Because they've no. started doing the sort of the colour rush ones, haven't they? Because they start doing that yeah. later in the season on the Thursday night football. Yeah, games. I was going to say that's a Thursday night football thing to try and make it bearable to watch. <laughs> but it almost seemed. That, did anyone see the Saints game? Because it almost looked as if the Saints were in the colour rush jersey this week. Well, they were wearing white. Were they wearing like white bottoms? Yeah, but the, even the jersey didn't have the sort of because the normal white jersey's got black with gold, uh, gold yeah. piping around gold. the outside. 
And this was like block black with white on the inside, so it looked like it was the colour was jersey. Mm. But what does that even mean? It's uh, yeah, it's like Matt said, it's like a mark market. It's just the money thing. Um, Steve <coughs> will have a new throwback uniform for 2018. Interesting. Oh, Bumbles, bumblebees will not make it. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. Christ. Um, so, <coughs> talking of the Dolphins, there was a stat at the beginning of the Dolphins game, which obviously doesn't really apply now. Tannehill has won 10 out of 11 starts. What? Obviously, it'll now be 10 out of 12. Uh, but yeah, apparently, because obviously he went off injured, didn't he? So, of his last 11 games... Oh, right. I thought you were going to say something like he's only ever played 11 games. I was like, what? No, of his, of his last 11 games. Right, okay. Ten. Like, that makes more sense. Uh, I've got down here, Mac, fifth sack of the year. Khalil. Yeah. Uh, f- closely followed by JJ. Did he get three in one game or four? Yeah. Game. Uh, four sacks so far. These were, these were stats at the start. They like to shout at the start. Like, or at the time they get the sacks. Um... Vinatieri, mm-hmm. 566 field goals made going in at the top. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. You do get a lot of the, the, the attempts, though, don't you, per game? Well, yeah, it depends on and what he is. What, he's really. 45 now, so he's probably been doing it for the last 25 years. So I scrambled to pick him up, and then my other kicker outscored him. Um, oh, you got the one I wanted from Detroit. Brian. Prater. No, Prater. Yeah. That's the one. Big leg Prater. Why's no, why no one got sea bass? Big leg sea bass. Janikowski loves a big field goal. I mean, he missed two on Sunday. But... Yeah, I mean, he loves, he loves a good field goal when he's, you know, missing. Has that Cleveland Browns kick got one yet? Uh... He missed a lot, didn't he? He, lost <laughs> he got a good <laughs> You see his face that. when he just went boom. And he was like. But he did it two games in a row, didn't he? Missed match winning kicks. That's that, hence the reason why they cut him. That's who's not played since then. He's not on the team anymore. He's gone. He's just he's just a free agent now. My oh, last note it, yeah. is um, every week of this season so far, extra time. Game games one games game, have yeah. run into extra time. I think we had two. <clears throat> Three this week. Browns Raiders went uh, to uh, overtime. Did. Yeah. <coughs> uh, can we go back to your point about sacks and stuff? Do you know, like, the league protect, protect the quarterbacks more? By mm-hmm. the not get tackled too much. You can't, so, a defensive can't player can't, you can't land with your full weight on the, on the quarterback. I mean, that's... I mean, they effect, effectively just get danger money every week because they get paid millions and millions of pounds more than anybody else. Pretty and much. They're not, and they're not hardly out to get touched these days. Well, there was the it's stat... always the, a penalty. There was the stat about the guy who tried to tackle Derek Carr and tried to land with his weight off him and tore his ACL. Yeah, I mean... So... I think the league are probably looking at it and saying, well, maybe we shouldn't be that stringent on it. I, I think it's, got, it's over the top. It is. There it's are, there are aspects uh, that are over the top. Um, Matt, did you bring any uh, questions for, for the league this week? Um, uh, just a couple of kind of things I've, I've noticed. The Falcons are, what, 3-1-3? 1-3, uh, yeah. Mm. not lost the game by more than a touchdown. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Is there a team more unfortunate than the Falcons out there? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. There was a team like that last season. I think it might have been the Lions. I think the Lions last season, in in pretty much all of their 16 games, all of them were settled by like seven points or less yeah. in all the games last season. So I think they they could just be another team like the Lions, where they just they just so the games are so close. The def, the defense needs to step it up. Basically, they just they're just conceding way too many points. Are we allowed to talk, talk of the Falcons in case I mention that player? Calvin. Calvin. No, just... Shh, Thomas. Shush. Matt, anything else from you? Uh, go on, I've got another one. Well, I've got two. Uh, go on. I've got um, Earl Thomas flipping off the uh, Seahawks bench after he got injured. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see this because, shock horror, I fell asleep watching no. watching Red Zone and then woke up when it had finished and I missed that. What, so what happened again? So he's, I, 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 I haven't quite seen what the injury was, but he's got injured, injured end of season injury and he's in the uh, similar boat to um, Le'Veon Bell with the uh, um, uh, franchise tag. Right, OK. So obviously he's got injured. Yeah, whatever's happened, presumably sort of busted up knee or something like that. So it's the carting him off. He's just 
middle finger all the way down. <laughs> uh, just kind of basically, yeah, you guys, you know, I'm not going to get paid in the summer. Wow. Um, Jeez. You know, it's kind of like a reflection of the Seahawks kind of disintegrating. That that's just um, that is that is exactly what it is though, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the defense is just melting one player at a time. Yeah. So is, does that leave Bobby Wagner as the only guy left there then? Well, not the only think, guy. And he got paid as well, didn't he? I think so. So, like, cause where did where did Cam Chancellor end up, or is he just retired, or is he still there? Because <laughs> he was part of that, like the Legion of Boom and stuff, and yeah, they've all, they've all just like gone their separate ways, haven't they? What was your last point, Matt? And the last one was uh, who wants to be a uh, Chargers kicker? Because uh, <laughs> Chargers kicker missed again this week. Oh my god! So when I when well, I first I'm started, all of the positives. Say again, sorry. I'm just full of the positives in life, you know. <laughs> But like, so when I first started watching it a couple of years ago, the uh, as there were then the San Diego Chargers, the, like the San Diego punt team was like the laughing stock of the NFL or something like that. And it just seems they can't ever get any sort of kicking game right. And it's probably what's going to cost them going like deep in the season. So Cam Chancellor is listed as a Seahawks player, but he is apparently on the team's re- reserve list for 2018 because he's not been medically cleared for because of a neck injury. Oh, right. So there you go. Anything else from you, Matt? That's it. That's it. Uh, maybe you can help. Uh, this week, we've actually had uh, somebody write in. <coughs> oh, no. Somebody, uh, somebody's written in with some questions for the podcast. Uh, there's a, <laughs> believe it or not, there's even a question for you, Tom. Is it, is it if it's two teams asking for Italy? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't comment, but a Matthew from York has written in to say, uh, can uh, can everyone on the podcast please discuss the fair trade policy and what is a fair trade in everyone's eyes? <laughs> uh, anything not offered by Matthew to tease her with Agree. Would probably be something determined to be a fair trade. Sounds fair. It's just nonsense what he offers you. What was the latest one he offered you either today or yesterday? <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he wanted Landry for Ridley. <laughs> what did he offer you recently? I think he tried to get, land, get rid of Landry on me. But what, what was he... Because he, he's always... I'm going to give you my worst player. They might be injured, they might not. Can you give me your best player? He offered me a Kittle for Ridley the other day. Greg Kittle. Is it Greg Kittle or Jeff Kittle? I can't remember. Well, it's Steve but does anybody that. else, when you get offered a trade, you just look at it with suspicion straight away? I think that is the problem. Well, they cover it. They cover it in the league, don't they? They say where they've got, they've gone. Like there's been so much suspicion and yeah. and bad feeling that we've gone into, we've crossed over into the world of no trades. Yeah. It's not that I offered. He needed. He said he needed a running back, so we offered him. Uh, don't. We don't need to bring that up. Again. No, I do. I need to get this out. It well, frustrated me. Who did they offer him? That one from Jacksonville. T. T. J. Eldon. Yeah, yeah. Should have taken him. He offered him in him and uh, some. Somebody else for Kels, and he turned it down. Well, that was. Um, Matthew from York has also uh, <laughs> just uh, is, is second. It's not even a question. It just says Tarek Cohen, smiley face. He's a fucking bitch. He's an absolute <laughs> dick. He's such a wanker. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him so much. Just a glass sweet, right? just a smile, <laughs> just a smiley face. Um, <laughs> Thomas, he just, he just knows what he just knows what to say just to get me going. I, I don't know. What ah, I mean. Thomas, question for yourself: mm-hmm. um, What is TQ's new formula for picking up good players and going on a winning run? Well, instead of Reset. actually working, I'll just flick through and see if people <laughs> writing about people. Okay, and that was it. And that's that's working for Plus you. Plus, first pick, so at least I knew you were going to get one decent running back. Yeah. And that's about it, really. And I'd have bread in, but if they picked up Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matthew from York also uh, also says, uh, and this is one that you might be able to help us with, Matt. Um, in, the, in a league, is a winning formula, in a guy's name, both Matthews with two Ts are 4-0 and past champions? 
it must be, it must be something to do with that. <laughs> Unbelievable. You got beat the final by two teams, didn't you? Oh yeah, I think I did, mate. Uh, Tom, thanks for. Uh, thanks do for you just on. do you just check into every season going? Right, uh, that one was good to, 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 to write down. You could be asked to. I just, I only know it because that was the. I think you went that was one in row that year. I remember that because you got beaten two finals. Didn't you? Do, you got do you to the remember both stats ways. about Paul? <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be that he only seems to remember the facts that you know pertain to myself, <laughs> and would absolutely mug me off. But, you know. You're the only one that rises to it, though. I think it is that. It is the fact that <laughs> I well, well, sat on Sunday and just like, why does Paul rise to the bait? Why does he do it? Does he not understand that that's why it happens? And I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell we, you. We weren't even genuinely winding up on Sunday night. No! We were just having a chat. Mistake, genuine mistake. And Paul's like, I hate you all. And I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be mean to you all. It's like, I, I don't know what to I do we haven't read the message properly. And then you're crying about it. I was like, to Andy, I'm not biting. I'm not biting. I don't know what you're saying. I just don't get it. <laughs> Until I reread the message, I thought, oh yeah, I get what you're saying now. <sighs> so, let's talk <laughs> uh, week five. You know how to do it? Already, You've done it. Already done. You've done it. Um, you could, however, tell us what the games are if you want, or I can Ooh. just look them up. Um, so <coughs> going into week five, um, I am uh, one and three going up against another one and three participant, Mr. Benji Keep with the Oxford Heathens. Uh, Oxford Heathens currently projected seventy. Uh, the Cook is projected eighty-seven. The bye weeks are going to start biting though properly. Yeah. I mean, like, I know we had two teams on bye this week. But the, the bye weeks are going to start biting they really a lot of people in the arse in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and speaking, speaking of two teams, um, my esteemed co-host, Hyde and Zeke, Mr Paul Williams, is going up against uh, Kaepernick's Knight. I mean, surely, I, I'm, I'm... Do you want more I'm, I'm either, either going to be the Arizona Cardinals or I'm going to be the Oakland Raiders. I'm either going to post another loss this week or I'm finally going to get that, that first win of the season simple as that I'm happy to lend you some players to beat Matt if you want. I mean I can't see the rest of the league being happy with that I'm, I'm, personally I'm, I'm alright I can't there. see you getting them back if, if, people, offer a fair, if people offer a fair trade I'll, I'll take it Fair trade Quinn is on the is on the table. Matt, do you want to uh, do you want to try and uh, offer up any fair trades live on the, uh, on the podcast? <laughs> offer, offer. These, I like I like the loan system. This, this the, uh, Lo- the loan system, system works real nice. By the loan system, I'll buy What's going on here? <laughs> sharing players around. And, uh, is that a, a, an accusation of collusion there, Matt? Speaking of Matt Moore, feeling good, 4 and 0, going up against Blunt Force Trauma. Oh, oh it's another 4 and 0 team. I didn't realise that Coll had got 4 and 0. Yeah, I don't Smack. know how he's managed to do it. With Ed Mahorn's on it for. Oh, he's got big points on it for I'm going to slap his face tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Oh. oh, another couple of uh, matchups in the room. Quinn Cop, Mr. Thomas Quinn, going up against Come On Saquon, Miss Glenn Davies. Gentlemen, <laughs> would you like to comment? <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh, you're on a bottle too, right? right. Um, or ladies. I'm going to go into it assuming I'm going to lose, but it's that's fine. how I always go on in life. Because then you're always happy to get <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. It's probably. I mean, I'll probably get an injury this week to somebody. Uh, You'll personally get probably, an injury. Probably, yeah. And you, and you, you in the leg. It'll be Rogers. In, in, in your fantasy finger. It'll be Rogers, and he'll. Just before we go any further, who are the teams on buys this week? Because I know Chicago's one of them. Uh, whoever fits Magic plays for Tampa Bay. He's yeah. not he does not play for anybody anymore, does he? No. What? He's been removed from the starting lineup. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was crap the day, was I think that's really unfair. It was unfair to change him halfway through again. Well, they were getting spanked, though, weren't they? They were getting spanked. So, to get um, the other guy back in. So. I suppose it gives it gives um, Jameis Winston reps and gets him ready to sort of take over in a yeah. few weeks. Then. Yeah, it does. 
Um, it's quite but, early on though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was yeah. still in the first half. Yeah, it was, was alright though, because at least like you know, someone in their right minds would never play him in their other fantasy league. Ooh, 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 me. I yeah, I also yeah. did that, and he yeah. posted three three points. points. Well, I took him out. <laughs> we can't all be geniuses, Tom. Same. I take him out when you need to. I put him in when I did all right. And then yeah, thanks. Take him yeah, out. Cheers, thanks for that. Take him out when you did this well. Um, we've got a couple of two and two games. So, Crimea, Phil Rivers, Philip Walls, two and two. Uh, going up against uh, our last phone uh, phone a friend, James Forrester Gray with Foosball is the Devil. <coughs> uh, the, the Rob going against the Yorkshire Knights will host Tim to Tim Squirrel Killer Lacey a one, a, a, one, a one and three versus an zero oh and four. Uh, literally, there's four points projected between it. Lacey, right, so, Lacey to win. So we all know what's going to happen. Tim's going to win. I'm going to get absolutely, like, I'm probably going to get beaten on the Monday night football game with a last minute field goal from his kicker. <laughs> this is a very sad song I'm playing, Paul. Sure it does. <laughs> um, so, an- anybody got any standout games there? Well, obviously, the, uh, the game of the week is the grudge match. Williams versus Herlihy. It probably is, to be fair. It's, the, uh, uh, the, the the crowd going wild on the sides. Just like, like is it possible for both teams to lose? <laughs> oh, there could be a tie. Actually, going to be going to have running back <laughs> issues against two teams. Of course uh, he is. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, can't, like, he can't play Tariq Cohen against me. Yes, he's on a buy. Isn't he? <laughs> so yeah, he's going to be. He'll be crying out for some trades over the weekend. <laughs> well, he's alright because he's got Return of the Mile on Mac, hasn't he? So. And I think he's still out, so... So he might actually... Joe Mixon as well. He's questionable. Joe Mixon, he's still out. He might legitimately have running back issues. Don't anyone give him a running back. Do you think anybody in our league would ever (laughs) trade with Toots? He has burnt so many bridges at this point in time. (laughs) He's literally walking around with a flamethrower like... uh, (laughs) Oh, there's a little bit of bridge I haven't burned. (laughs) Oh, give us a kick up. (laughs) Has he... Has he... Has he offered you anything yet, Matt? Yeah, uh, it was, I mean, it was the first year. I had the DeAndre Hopkins that year as well, I think. And he offered me, offered me the broken Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> uh, and, and at this point, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't the hero that he is now. <laughs> the hero? <laughs> he was just the guy who'd just been replaced by Blaine Gabbard. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And, I can't think what the other. It was a, It was a, It was just a shit trip of a trade. <laughs> <laughs> all of us sitting here, Matt. Uh, we've all used our shocked faces right now. <laughs> I can't wait till he listens. I can't wait till he listens to this and just goes, "Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't come off quite well there, did I?" <laughs> <laughs> At some point, he's going to have to acknowledge it, but I don't think he ever will. Uh, right, let's talk some. Uh, let's talk some actual lineup. Uh, week five: Patriots versus the Colts. I don't, oh. I don't want to use the word. Oh, Andrew. Snooze <laughs> fest. Oh, Andrew, look, you poor bastard. He just come off a good week, though, is he? Did he go? Did he go for over four hundred yards? Did he keep dropping the ball that night while keeping it slapped out of his hands? Yeah, yeah but he, he he scored massive points. And at the end, they went for a bit of a hail mary, and he threw it. They didn't bring. Um, that is true. I, can't I thought give his name now. Uh, bag, dead bag. Jacoby Brissett. Did yeah. he bring him on? No, they didn't. The and he there. throwed it. And yeah, he throwed it. He, he throwed, throwed it. it. Yeah. He throwed it. He threw it really good. He threw the handbag, and <laughs> it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't do. Uh, it went pretty much like the last hell. Uh, Jets versus the Broncos. Jets are crap. Uh, the Broncos. The Broncos. That is that much better. Uh, Again, little snooze fest ish you'd yeah. imagine that the Jets have got to get something going sometime soon you would imagine so but will they it was a mm. chucker these days because no, <laughs> no one seems to be passing it to that um, Robbie Anderson Sam Darnold is a new quarterback oh. yeah and he had a shocking week he I think I think at one point they looked like they were going to take him off as well <coughs> uh, all, all um, rookie starters had terrible weeks didn't they or something it wasn't um, that bad. 13 points in Burfield. Lions Packers. Not too bad. Divisional again. game. Not too bad. Always a bit tasty. Uh, returning off a bye, the Panthers versus the Giants. Should be a fairly straightforward for the Panthers, yeah. you imagine. Um, Bills Titans. 
Matt, any any thoughts? I think the Bills are terrible, aren't they? Okay. I think and with the the way the Titans looked uh, yes, uh, yesterday, yesterday, uh, Sunday, mm. I think uh, I think that one's a uh, pretty you know uh, pretty kind of uh, done done and dusted really. Yeah, mm. just, they just they, the Bills are terrible. The Titans are go- they're going along nicely. They're not. They're not pulling up massive trees. I mean, I know they had a good win on uh, on Sunday, but they're not blowing teams out of the water. They're just huh. sort of ticking over nicely. Which at this point in the season, there was nothing wrong with that. No, it's good. It's good. Keep, Winning, keep, not playing well. Yeah, just just keep mark of a out. sign of a good team, you might say. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do you want to call a? Do you want to tell us the next one? Uh, yeah, Dolphins Bengals. Dolphins, Bengals. Dolphins, Bengals. I fancy, I fancy the Dolphins to come back for a for a win on that one personally. The people are writing off the Bengals and every week they play, and they're three and one, and they just beat the Falcons, which is no mean feat. The Dolphins are no good. I, no, I don't. I think the I, Bengals are good. I think they're. Uh, I don't want to uh, talk about Andy Dalton though. Why? Because he's ginger. <laughs> what, have got, what, what have you got against ginger people? This is this is the point that Matt. I've had to say Matt's you don't to eat him that much. This is the point where <laughs> mine and Matt's mate Stu is just pissing himself. <laughs> it's like a too e- it's too easy. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, there's three three golden rules in podcasting: certain things you don't talk about. You know, race, religion, ginger. See, since the update, the, the face on has gone a bit. Right. Paul, give us the next one. <coughs> so the next one, we've just talked, we've just talked about a little bit, but Steelers Falcons. Mm. Good that, one, Blake. So that's so that's a team that's one and three going to a team that's one, two and one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I'm gonna say Falcons. I'm just gonna throw I mean, it out you'd there. You have to you have to sort of like on the basis of like like Matt said, the Falcons have been really unlucky. They've lost. Did you was it? Did you say they lost by seven or less in all the games? Less of lost? than seven. So less than seven in all. Less than seven in all the games have lost. I'm gonna give the gonna give the Falcons a free one. Have you got them forward? I'll, I'll, I'll second that. Yeah. I think, I think May not the same place. Steelers. Then. Something not quite right. Yeah. Yeah, they're not getting it dialed in just yet. Big Ben's not. Well, like the the he least... to mark like Will Ferrell though, don't he, with the helmet on. <laughs> why is not? Maybe it is Will Ferrell. Wow, <laughs> that's why they've been so bad this season because they've got Will Ferrell starting at quarterback. Excellent. Doesn't look like him under helmet. People don't like it when I'm I'm sitting there on Sunday sending message after message after message of this player. Looks no, like I, this I like person. the lookalike is oh. the lookalike is brilliant because I know I'm on a winner if I because I Google it. So uh, when I was in was it um, Dak and Turk. Yeah, <laughs> that one Google was it. If it comes up, you know you're on a winner. So I just literally Googled it, found an answer, and went there. Send the um, McLovin. Yeah, I did the McLovin one. Was that Case Keenum or someone else. Yeah, Case Keenum, McLovin. Uh, there was the um, was it the coach for Bills? The Bills looks like Ron Howard. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, look at all these look alike. <laughs> Blake Bottles, if you catch Blake Bottles in the right light, it looks like Charlie Day. If he's got his helmet on. <laughs> is it just me or is Blake Bottles going a bit bald? <laughs> he looks to be a bit recedo. Potentially. <laughs> what is wrong with that? And he's obviously a terrible, terrible quarterback. But, you know, yeah. that's neither here nor there. Probably, probably going to go to the Super Bowl. Ooh, I'll tell you something. After the next game, there's a, there's a good, good game on Sunday. Uh, Browns-Ravens. History would say the Ravens. Ravens have looked good. Browns haven't looked terrible. No, they haven't. I mean, you know, we we keep talking the Browns, um, but they're just not quite there yet. They're they're, they're not ready. Yet. Uh, defense is good. Need to get rid of it. Need to get rid of Hugh Jackson, and then uh... yeah, that that's definitely a good uh, a good <laughs> shout. One of the funniest things that I heard was, um, so not this week, but the week before, 
when they, they ran the, the sort of the trick play when I think Baker Mayfield caught the two point conversion in the end zone to tie the game up. They spoke to Hugh Jackson after the game or something like that and said, um, so with that is that was that a trick play you stole from Philadelphia or something? I was like, No, don't be silly, we come up with we come up with all our own plays here. And then they went and spoke to I think it was the offensive coordinator who was like, Yeah, that was definitely taken from Philadelphia. Mm. It was like, Yeah, okay. Why is that a bad thing? Because yeah, obviously he's, he's just trying to sort of take all the credit oh, no, for it's it's definitely it's just no, like, no, that's definitely not how it happened. Um, right, well, so, so this is obviously not before. Just... Definitely game of the week for me. <clears throat> Go. Chiefs Jags. <sighs> yes. I smell a couple of picks for Pat Mahomes in that. That's his first real test for me. That's the first good defence it'll come up against. Um... I'm saying Jaguars. Interesting. Thomas? As long as Yeldon does alright, I don't really care. Matt? I'm very selfish about the teams. So you're a, aren't you a, a Jags fan? That's what, all, that's what Sky Sports told me I was. Um. <laughs> so that's a point, Matt. Have we, have we ever covered who you support, or do you not really have a team? Me? Uh, I'm 49ers. Ah! Uh, in that case, you'll have, to, you'll have to watch the uh, the podcast this week because uh, you might enjoy what I'm wearing. You won't do because it's really skin tight. It is a bit tight. It's, <laughs> it's a little bit obscene, I'm not going to lie. It just, it just adds to the other. Get them like mine, get them all let out. Watch it with a bucket. <laughs> of KFC. KFC, uh, a <laughs> bucket. Yeah, it's thoughts on the uh, thoughts on Chiefs Jags, Matt? Uh, pretty much... Uh, what you guys have said, I, I think it's going to be the first proper test for Mahomes. Obviously, last night it was a it was a tight tight victory, wasn't it? Mm. Um, uh, against the Broncos, which obviously you have a reputation of having a good day. Yeah. Uh, but the Jags have shown that they definitely do it. So it's whether they can drag them into a like a you know a nine six kind of. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. If they can keep if they can keep Tyreek Hill quiet and stuff like that. And maybe try and sort of subdue Hunt. Mm. Then, who knows? But like I say, if they can keep it tight, then. Mm-hmm. Who's yours? Who I think's going to win. Yeah. I'm going to stand by the Chiefs. Ooh. That's a tough one for me. I reckon that one could go to overtime. I reckon that's going to go. You think it's going to be close? And one team's going to One team's just going to, yeah. One's just going to be an absolute <laughs> blow. Yeah, one's just going to shit the bed. <laughs> Uh, have you got another game for us? Mm. Yours is not a second to ours. They're all like, so we've done all the six o'clock, so yeah. we're on to the nine o'clock. Nine five, Raiders, Chargers. Hmm. Chargers are not. Are not getting it going. Pete, so this I've said this before. The, the start of the season, the Chargers were a couple of people's pick to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. I just don't get it. No. People are saying the defense is good. Fair enough. They've got. Joey Bosa, who's a bit of a monster, but he's not playing at the minute because he's injured, mm. and he, they miss him. Yeah, yeah. I like. I, I think we've had this this conversation a couple of times now to say that I don't know where that where that's coming from, where that that sort of intel is coming from mm. to say that they're going to the Super Bowl. Um, You've got a good running game. Melvin Gordon's a good back. Matt. I, I think it's like you go. You, people always trust in Phil Rivers, don't they? And mm, yeah, he's always liable to chuck a chuck an interception in there. I think their receiving course quite um, quite good, like understated. Um, but that that should be quite a good a good game that one. Uh, yeah, I was looking. I was looking at that one. Like it was, yeah, it's a bit late on, but um, uh, the yeah. Uh, but that should be, a, should, be should, should be a good game. It should, it'll be a shootout, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it's got that feeling. It could it could be a bit of a yeah. Okay, correct. Thir- Thirty plus each side and stuff right. like that. Is that good in American football? What terms do you think? Oh, that's a good game. Would you would classic a good game? Would you rather watch? So, if you take take the last couple of weeks into example, for example. Would you rather have watched uh, the Rams Vikings game that finished like thirty eight thirty one or whatever it was, or the Titans Jags game that finished nine six? Well, I'm, I'm putting the fact like if you get a rugby match that's like thirty eight thirty one, then that's crap. Is it? Yeah, because that's just like yeah, I'd agree with that. 
people just running through. Oh well. No, oh, hang on, hang on. Now we're gonna have to clarif- we're gonna have to clarify this because uh, when you hear rugby, Matt, what do you think? I watch both types of rugby, don't worry. Oh, well, my fingers love a hang up button. So, uh, <laughs> I have to get the right one. Hey. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> but you know what I mean? So, like. I see you mean because they've scored Because there's so many points, it's a, bad... it's a bad game because right. the, the, the team but, haven't been played very well, they haven't defended very well. So, to take it and play. And just but is it the other way around in American football if it's. Well, you could argue. You want the So, did, you, wa- did you watch any of the Super Bowl last season? Uh, no. So that that was that was a similar game to like that was like thirty something each team and it was one of the best games I've ever seen. Yeah, because it, it was not just only, attacking. Not only was it one of the best Super Bowls for a long time, it was one of the best games. Mm. It was just it was a standout game. You were on the edge of your seat. You were just if, like, what's going to? If you're a fan of like defensive games, you'd have had an absolute nightmare because there was just no defense going on whatsoever. As as um. Uh, Bill Burr always says Tom Brady threw for over 500 yards in that game and still lost. Most yards he's ever thrown for in a game. Just insanity. It was it was a it was a monumental game, um, but. But from a spectating point of view, it's more interesting for more points. Yeah, it's weird that way around, isn't it? Like, but I was going to say, sports. if you sort of bring it to, if you bring it to like a football perspective. You'd much rather watch a 4-4 draw than a 0-0 draw, wouldn't you? Yeah. But I'd much rather watch a 4-0 win at Rugby League than... If it's a 4-0 win at Rugby League, that's, 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 that game's been incredibly tight. Mm. That's what I mean. It's, like, it's, it's weird, isn't it, how you think... Some sports like, I want a real high scorer, but mm. sometimes like... <laughs> You don't want it to look like it's just easy. I imagine to, to score like, a try. I imagine, I imagine either like either side's got like its pluses and its negatives and so that. But sorry to change sports there. Sorry, just no, I just got to Paris and what people. Right. Well, perceptions are. Let's talk. Let's talk some Eagles Vikings football. Mm. And the Vikings rubbish. Well, here. where's it at? Because. Is it going to be the Vikings getting revenge on the Eagles for putting them out of the Super Bowl in their own stadium last season? Also, just on the on the on the home away thing, right? When you're looking at it, Lincoln, you see like Vikings, and then you see the are team they're playing. But this team's at home. Yeah, are you going to get annoyed right. about the fact that it's left to right and the team on the right is at home? Yeah, I don't. That's, that's <laughs> sort of through me. It's like, why? Why is it like that? So, so, at the Vikings thing. at the Eagles. It's, uh, yeah, it's Philly, it's Philly Stadium. Uh, in that case, no. Then is that two weeks in a row the Vikings have? Yeah, so that's two losses in a row in it because they got absolutely smoked by the Bills. Where yep. the fuck did that come from? Yeah, and then they lost against the Rams. Yeah, did they have the best one at best defenses last year? Vikings. They've got a good defenses. It is anyway. Towards the back end of the season, they looked like they were going to the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Their defense just got better and better and better, and then. You know that back end of the season, anything. <coughs> you know, if you if you've got that far and you're a contender, mm. you can. I mean, you know, talk to the Falcons. Jesus Christ, most times getting that far to then fall away in the last few games. Um, have you got another game for us? Yep, nine twenty-five Cardinals Forty-Niners. Matt, let's talk Cardinals Forty-Niners. Go. That's just terrible, isn't it? <laughs> I mean that. <laughs> That is the snooze fest of the weekend for me. It might not be a snooze fest, it's just going to be bad. (laughs) It's just, you know... Do we know who the 49ers are going to put in? Bethard. Right. And to be fair, you might be able to back me up on this, Matt. He looked pretty good on Sunday, Bethard, when he started. He looked reasonable. The problem is that they were all struggling to move the ball with uh, Jimmy G. Yeah. And... I mean, you saw him, and he, he did. He does some nice. He did, uh, Beth did some nice things. Kind of, like, like you said, when we were talking about, um, uh, I can't think what was it. Yeah, but like Bortles, kind of being able to carry mm. the ball and stuff like that. But it's just that the, the receivers aren't there, and uh, and was it Josh Rosen didn't look much, much better for the Cardinals. Either. Yeah, they just it's just two, two teams that you know they. You know, 49ers were hoping that a, a quarterback would take him forward and yeah. he's injured and wasn't doing all that before and then another team that's just blatantly 
<laughs> trying to be rubbish. It's that thing, isn't it? They're, they're, they're in that position now, the Cardinals, where they're almost playing for draft picks, aren't they? It's so, a shame because Larry Fitzgerald's just been wasted. I know, it is, it is a shame. And like, you could argue that David Johnson's probably one of the best running backs in the league as well. So they've got two yeah. really good players there that are just, yeah, totally wasted in that often. Um, so we've got Texans, Cowboys. The Battle of Texas. Mm, Thomas. Bob. Again, I just look at it from fantasy point players. Point of view. <laughs> I don't look at it for results. I like, <laughs> have, you got, have you got anyone from Houston? Have you got yeah, Will, Will Fuller? No, I've got that. Who's got Will Fuller? Because it's not me, I've got him in my other league. No, I've got, I've got the uh, Lamar Miller over there. Oh, God. Ugh. He's out now. But I don't look at it from like teams versus teams. I look at it like which players are on that team. And I was thinking, pass it to him, pass it to him. And then I don't know, I'm really like, angry with the TV. I do. I'm the same with that, though. <laughs> like, it, the, the most, the the most the annoying game. thing in the world is the is the running back who gets you, like, you know, from from midfield to the two, and then, the you, get the, and then you get the vulture that comes yeah. in and vultures you six points. It's like, yeah. you fucking bastard. Yeah. Um, Matt, Cowboys football. Again, it's it's that they, this week they look good with uh, Zeke, but mm. they just again if he's not if he's not firing if he's not playing well then they're just a, again and their their defense doesn't stop anything. No, no, it really I, I, I'd listened to uh, I was listening to a podcast um, the other week uh, uh, last Friday I think, and they were saying that the Cowboys like the the offense hasn't evolved hasn't changed. When it was the most exciting one, when um, when Dak first took over from Romo, mm, yeah, and it's just stayed still. There's no kind of you know they got rid of you know Des Bryant's moved retired, moved on, not wanted, and they haven't replaced him with any decent uh, wide receivers. And they're just relying on the fact that you know Zeke, the, you know, an absolute beast. But it's it's um, if you get a decent team with a decent um, decent line, then they're not going to go anywhere. That is it with the Cowboys. It, it certainly seemed that way on Sunday. They were like relying on Zeke to get it done in the backfield, and then yeah. if not, they just line him up out, out wide and then just try and get him as a receiver. Yeah, I know he got like two hundred and forty all-purpose yards or something, like that, but he's not going to be able to do that every week. No, and it's going to take a massive toll on him. Right. They need to be exploring other options. They need to be going. Well, who else have we got, or do we need to get somebody? Because of that, you know, that amount of pressure on one player is See, just going to take its time. I, I don't know why they weren't trying to get Josh Gordon. Like, they should have been all over that trade. Don't know. Don't know. Um, Cowboys football. Cowboys to win. Okay. And finally, our last game of the week. Saints versus the Redskins. Skins are coming off the bye. Mm. Nice and rested up. Yeah, it feels like the it feels like the Saints have had their foot on the floor. <coughs> so Drew Brees, baby, they're gonna they're gonna come a cropper, in the sense that <coughs> they can't play like that all the time and and just expect it to be okay. Obviously, yeah. Uh, well, the defense stepped up. The actually, the defense actually played pretty well on Sunday for the first time in this. Well, the first time this season. Obviously, they have got a uh, returning player who uh, some, of us, uh, some of us are very excited to see the fresh, suspensions lift. Fresh back from his week at uh, Cardia <laughs> Phil Rivers. Do you want a trade, don't you? What, the old one? Ingram. <laughs> yeah. Ingram's like Rogers. If anybody else gets him out, I'd kill him. Um, <laughs> so, Saints football for me, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be taking the Saints over. Um, yeah. And I'll be uh, uh, I'll be gutted when uh, Ingram returns from uh, four weeks suspension to no points. Bagel, yeah, big fat bagel. Well, if they if they run the offense the same as they did last season, then they'll they'll split the time between Kamara and Ingram fifty fifty. But the way Kamara's been playing, you can't really afford to do that. So, uh, any final thoughts, Matt? You looking forward to the uh, upcoming fantasy week? Uh, I, yeah, but uh, I'm worried. Obviously, uh, I picked up uh, Tyler Eifert. Oh, so yeah. After you dropped it, uh, dropped him. Oh, did you uh, see it? Well, God knows, done. God knows what to his leg. 
apparently it's horrific. I'm not going to look at it. Oh, did you not yeah, see it at so... the time? Pardon? Did you not see it at the time? No, no. Oh, yeah, it was a yeah. particu- it was yeah. a particularly bad one. Oh, it was oh. at a right angle. Ooh. So the actual on on the red zone coverage, you could actually hear Scott Anthony in the background saying, "Okay, don't show the clip, guys. Don't show the clip." As they were showing the yeah. clip, they showed like, it about four times. <laughs> it was like, "Okay, okay, guys, you can you can see it from that angle. That's the that's that's pretty bad. We yeah. probably need to cut away from that yeah. as quick as possible." Yeah. Yeah, so, it was, uh, it was, it was funny angle, and I'm glad I made that decision to drop him. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Matt, but uh, yeah, uh, he's been doing absolute dog shit for me. But he's been so unlucky because like, I think, well, I think he? it was there was like two or three like, two or three seasons ago he was really really good, yeah. and since then he's like, just he's just been injured every single season. Yeah, so I picked him up in the season that he was really good, and then I've, I seem to have just had him every season since. And the season that he was really good on, I had him, I was like, this guy's fucking awesome. So I picked him up the next season, and yeah, just injury after injury after injury, and it's like... Sometimes you got you because you've got those like players you like to get hold of, and then sometimes you do just have to let them go. Yeah. I will be uh, dropping a what, player this week. Well, well, Matt, what you could do is you, uh, you could try and get a tight end off our, uh, you know, esteemed trade maestro. <laughs> Because he's uh, he's got at least one. Yeah, oh, there you go. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it two teams, right? I'll lend you Disley um, out for the season, but I'll, I'll, I will trade you in for a fully functioning athlete that you may have on your bench. Or starting him, starting side. I just had Tyler Eifert's going spare. So, uh... <laughs> I shouldn't have dropped him. I should have stuck him in a trade with. Like, oh. yeah. Should have offered him two. So I'm sure I'd have snapped him up. He's got Kittle. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What do you say? Um, what about? Oh, this week fancy. This week fancy. You're no, gonna you're gonna absolutely week. smoke. You're gonna smoke this guy to my right, aren't you? So yeah, yeah. He just rephrased that, please. <laughs> Not like <laughs> you dirty oik. He's sat right here. I'm gonna win. <laughs> I hope you do, Leanne. Yeah. I hope you do. The oh. stop crying. Oh, God. Stop being so nice. We all hope you win as well, Paul, at some point. I, mean, I literally hope you get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you start I... 50 points. You want me to lose every week, don't I... you? hilarious. I'm not going to say anything because I know the way it's going to go. It's just He's going to win. He is going to win. He always wins. To be fair, has he ever lost to you? I think I've beat him maybe once. In fact, no, in, in the first season, I'm pretty sure I beat him every time apart from in the final week. Who was that? And did you beat Matt. him gracefully? Mm, I never rubbed it in his face. Really? No! <laughs> I really didn't. Can we go back through all the messages from, like, <laughs> whatever that last win was? <laughs> Twenty. Whenever my last win was, Jesus Christ, I don't think I was even born. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, Bill. But you take it well, anyway. It happens, it happens. Bill. Yeah, well, you know. Look at me. That's the joys, I love that's the joys of love fantasy it. football, I suppose. I only won one in the, like, the first ten last year. That's something ridiculous. So it happens. Lives are so empty without fantasy football, so it doesn't matter when you win. I know, those. lap it up. There's only like, what, ten, 13 more weeks <laughs> go to go. I'm already. I I think about it and I start. I get a lot of panicky. I'm like, oh my god, the season's nearly over. What am I going to do? I must admit, I don't. I don't nothing about the NFL, but I look forward to when it comes up to when it's picking the doing the drafts. Yeah. And then it's like when it gets to whenever it sees, I'm like, oh, when, when the drafts start. Yeah. I mean, I know nothing about again. NFL whatsoever, <laughs> but I like, I like doing this. Yeah. And I I, I, I don't do football ones. I will just do what NFL. It's Fantastic. it's enjoyable. It fills it fills a uh, it fills a it fills a space. Gets you through the uh, the dark months. Plus, it makes it even more joyful when Paul gives you tips on how to pick or do your draft pick. <laughs> Why have you done that at this round? You've done that wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ, Paul! The best thing about it was like so. <laughs> he's not been on the podcast yet, but he will be on. He will be on next week. Are you playing Ben next week? I am, yeah. So Ben will be on next week, and we can discuss the fact that his, <laughs> fir- his first draft pick was Jimmy Garoppolo, <laughs> who we then dropped, <laughs> and then picked up again, and then he got injured, and he's still on his bench. Maybe. I don't understand that guy. Maybe, maybe he's hopeful. It was the, it was the, it was the third round, Jimmy. 
was it? I, I thought it was second. It was second, one. wasn't it? And we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did, he take, did he take Jimmy G in his first round and the Jags D in the second round? And we I were like, almost certain that that was it, yeah. Uh, uh, Tactics. Uh, we've got more wins than you, though, Paul. And we were like, Oh, Tom. <laughs> He's a fancy genius in Paul's world. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's like, he's, he's on next week, isn't he? Yeah, he got any, got any tips? I'm after, yeah, I might have to wait him up for some, uh, yeah, some, some fancy tips. advice. <laughs> oh, bless. Is this a year as well? Just throw it out there. We're going to have a, an NFL like night out and do an award ceremony. What, for that trophy? That, that, no, don't it's not going to be a trophy, it's going to be a championship belt. But is that actually going to happen? Throw it out there as an idea. Well, the should. Well, we're we're in the process of arranging a little Christmas time get together anyway. So, will the fantasy of or the fantasy won't have finished by that point, will it? No. <laughs> Damn it! You have to you have to come to York again, man. But look at it this way: I am in the process of arranging a podcast Christmas party, Ooh. and now Matt has officially. Popped his podcast cherry. <laughs> but he, he could get a little invite oh, to the I'll podcast Christmas go. party. Throwing that out there. Well, I said to Paul, I said to Paul the other week, like, you should come. You can come to Newcastle and uh... the toon. Yeah. Is bar mushroom still a thing? The what? I think it was called oh, bar mushroom. The, the club. Yeah, used, yeah. Used to do trebles for singles on vodkas and stuff. So yeah, lots of Newcastle. So pod, podcast on tour. We're always on tour. I'm surprised we're here, you know. Yeah, that's good Most point. weeks we're in a different location. <laughs> True that. Go to Tom's house one day. Mm. Yeah. Special guest, Di Quinn. Dogs. You know dogs? You're a bit weird with cats, aren't you? I've been in your house before. Right. Dogs are fine. Did you die? No, it's fine. There you go. Right. Right. Leave it there. You need to check the football and I Tom do. needs to go home to bed. Leon needs to go to bed. I need to code a podcast. Play games. Whilst playing games. Right. Thank you very thank much, you, Mr. Uh, thank you, Matt, for joining us on the phone today. I appreciate you freeing up the time. Thank you, Thomas, for taking time out of your busy schedule to come here. That's thank right. you, Paul, for co-hosting. Thank you, Leon, for joining us. And we'll call the ball. Well, it's nice knowing you exist, Matt, as well. <laughs> Weren't sure. We were. That's that's I'll, 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 that's well, legitimately I'll, I'll, not a joke, by the way. Details, send me the money, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, sorry, it's. <laughs> I'm going through a tunnel. Yeah, I'll it's speak to you later, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> End on a high note. Right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> so there you go. What do you think to that uh, week four in the bag? Week five coming up. Uh, how are you guys doing in your fantasy league? You winning? I certainly am not. Well, certainly I'm not in uh, in that league. But uh, yeah, that's for another podcast. Um, as always, YouTube watchers, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all of those things. Why don't you share it with your friends? Uh, for you audio and YouTube watchers, uh, jump over to thecookiecast.com. Uh, shout up on our social media outlets. Tell us how you're getting on in your league. Tell us uh, who's your favourite player. Who's your favourite team. Uh, Yeah, so do those things. Uh, Like, share, subscribe, comment and uh, pass on to your friends. Um, So yeah, as we're going into week five, uh, who's your your favourite for the week? Let us know in the comments. Uh, So yeah, until next time, I'll bid you bye-bye.